What's going on, everybody? Gary B. Jr. here, your media consultant. And today I'm going to be talking to you about using free show and adding stage notes for the folks on stage. This is important because you may have some special things that need to be added to a slide for the speaker that they want to make sure that they don't forget. And or you may want to show something that is important uh, for that particular slide that you want to make sure they're aware of. For yourself all right and so the first step in understanding this is you got to go to a show so i've got a show here this is just a, a general song and in order to add an actual note to the slide i need to go into the edit mode option up at the top and then you have your slides on the left side these are all editable now i can go in here and type different things but we're not going to do that we're going to actually look over on this right arrow option and it gives you another option here that says notes so I'm going to type in here, this is a note. And I'm going to put the number one there. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go to the next slide. I'm going to put in the same note, but it's going to put a two with it. We're going to go to the next one. And I'm going to put a number three with it. All right. Now, these first three slides, or these three slides, I say have a note with them, or yeah, a special note with it. So if I go back to the show, and we go here, you'll see this says, this is a note one, this is a note two, this is a note three. As a volunteer or media person, you're gonna be able to see exactly what notes are for individual slides, all right? Now, in order to add that to the stage view is another step. First thing, you need to add a stage view. I've only got a live stream view and a primary view that I've made. Let's go to our settings. We're gonna go over to the outputs and we're gonna select Add if you don't have a stage view already created. And when you hit add, you're going to select the option that says stage. All right. I've already added a stage view. So I'm going to select my stage view and I'm going to activate it. All right. If you're making a new one, you want to make sure to enable it and it'll be activated and you'll see any layouts that you've already created. And I've got one, two, three, four different layouts. And you can pick from this view which one you want to see. And I've got one here that shows the note already, but I'm going to keep it on this one that doesn't have the notes built in so we can see how to add them. All right. So now that we've added a stage view, you'll see it in the preview window on the right. We're going to go to our stage at the very top. And now we've got a view of how to edit our stage layouts. And I've got those four stage layouts on the left side here. We've got the one that says worship stage active. Okay. On the right side, this is where you get to add in all of your items for your stage view, just like you would if you were editing a slide. All the items would be on the right side. To do this, though, we don't see anything in here that says stage notes, all right? There's no item in the item section that says stage notes. If we hit the little carrot or the arrow icon, there's no notes area here. We have to go back to the items and select this option that says text box, all right? They've uh, made free show to where it's a lot more streamlined and in doing so it simplifies the the window that you see there for the notes so i'm going to drag this text box and i'm going to put this notes this text box notes right in this section here and i'm just maneuvering it and then i'm just resizing it here to where it'll be not overlapping with the clock but it's right up under this next slide all right now this is a pretty busy stage view so i don't necessarily recommend this you definitely want to talk to your team Talk to the pastor, the leadership, the worship team leaders and worship team members based on what they need. That's how you organize your stage. All right. So now we've got this stage or this text box here, but it doesn't show the notes. In order to show the notes, we've got to right click on it. And then there's an option that pops up that says dynamic values. This is important because this is where the new section for notes will be found. And you got options here where they break out the times. So you can put in a time like a month, day, year, uh, minutes and seconds, hours, those things. You can select items from the show. And this is where you can see the titles right below. So you can see the show name, the layouts, the slide group, the slide text. And then we've got this one that says slide notes. If you select that, it tells you, it gives you a preview of what actually would be there. So it says this is a note and it's one. And then it shows slide notes next. This is a note too. So you can show your current notes and your next notes if you wanted to. All right. So I'm going to select this one here and it shows and it just says slide notes. It doesn't do anything else. And I'll delete this because we've got uh, another option here. So I'm going to put the slide notes up under the current slide and then we'll put the next slide notes under the next slide all right so i'll bring this over and make it the width of this current slide and then we'll add another text box go to items 
select text box and we're going to position this one in the same place we had the other one originally but it'll be for the next notes all right so i'm gonna put that there and i'm gonna go to this corner and just drag it up towards the same width and not overlapping with my clock all right so i've got that there i'm going to right click again select dynamic values and this time we're going to select slide notes next all right and now you'll see the moniker there or the the the, the hard uh definition of what that dynamic text will fit be but it doesn't show you what the content of it will become or will it, what it will be right not in this edit portion you just see the, the brackets there now if we go over in our preview and i select it you'll see that it actually has conformed and it shows this is a note one for the current slide this is a note two for the next slide if i go to the right to arrow through my slides you'll notice that it changes and this note two now comes the current becomes the current slide and this is a note three becomes the next slide notes, right? Slide notes next is what it shows there. All right. So this is how you would add slide notes to your stage view for the folks that are coming up on stage so they can have the reference that they want to make sure they remember aside from what the audience is going to see. Right. So we see here that this is what the audience sees in the current slide. And that's what they see here. So on this, the audience view screens those are going to be up in the front or maybe right centered up in the front is one big projector or led screen or whatever it may be that's fine but the folks that are going to be looking from the stage are going to see this in the back of the room or maybe just at the foot of the stage or something along those lines where they can see their current slide and the next slide along with their current notes and their next notes now you can customize this however you want to if it's hard to read um, you can make it to where you can make it different right so the text color here is white and maybe you want to change the item color to where there's a background color to where it matches this one to where it shows up with white and gray. So they know that that's all next stuff. And then it would look something like this. So as you edit your stage view, customize it to the needs of the folks that are on stage. But this is how you would add in the notes. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it helped you in a major way. Now, at this point, most people would ask you to like and subscribe, and I think that's great, but my goal is a little bit different. My goal is to empower as many people as possible all over the globe. And there's one way that you can really help me do that, and that is to leave a comment below with a question, a thought, uh, how this video may have helped you, or things that were left out that you still have questions about, and to share this video with someone just like you, someone who is looking for answers, someone who's curious and wants to grow. With your help, I believe we can build a community of people that want to grow together. So until next time, God bless.